Hola chicos, soy Ms. Schaefer y hoy vamos a hablar del vocabulario en contexto de capítulo 7b. Está en páginas 346 y 347 si quieres verlas en su libro. The question that I want you to ask yourselves as we go today is how can I talk about things I bought in the past? And two of the main things that we're going to talk about grammar-wise in this chapter are the past tense verb, past tense AR verbs, and how to say it and them, like I bought it. Our vocab is going to mainly focus on things that we could buy as gifts for people. On this first page, podemos ver un mapa. We can see a map de un centro comercial. Y vamos a aprender los nombres de las tiendas. We're going to learn the names of the stores. So if you could please write these down on your paper as we go. Remember, you'll need both the Spanish vocab word and the English translation. La joyería is a jewelry store. Joyas are jewels, so joyería is a jewelry store. One thing that you'll learn in this chapter is that by putting this ia on the end, that's often how we find um, the name of a store. So la zapatería, you know the word zapato. What does zapato mean? Shoe. So zapatería is a shoe store. La librería, a libro is a book, so a librería is a bookstore. And you can see the pictures. Here's the jewelry store and the shoe store and the bookstore. El almacén, an almacén is a department store. That's just one that we have to memorize. That would be like a JCPenney's or a Kohl's or a Dillard's. La tienda de electrodomésticos is an appliance store, a household appliance store. So that's where you might buy your um, washer or dryer or stove. And what's kind of funny is a domestico in Spanish, domestico is somebody who works domestically, like a maid. So electrodomésticos are electronic maids. Think about it, things, electronic things that do your chores for you. You can see it over here. You can buy some TVs there as well, or cameras. And then menos y más is la tienda de descuentos. And a tienda de descuentos is a discount store. So those are the six store names that I want you to write down, please. And when you're ready, you can flip on to the next page with us, but pause it until you're ready to go on. Aquí podemos leer una conversación entre las dos chicas. Ella dice, mira, todo cuesta menos aquí. Qué barato. Mira means look. It's the command form. Everything costs less here. How cheap. Barato is one of your vocab words. It means cheap. Um, it is going to have to agree with the noun that it's describing, of course. So they're in más, menos, o más, menos y más, which is a, a discount store that we saw on the last page. And la otra chica dice, the other girl says, No puede ser. It can't be. Yo compré este cartera en el almacén Gardel hace una semana y pagué mucho más. Uf. So we have a couple words here that are new. Compré is I bought. And we're going to learn how to use this tense. It's called the preterite tense, this chapter, to tell what happened in the past. So I bought this wallet in the the Gardel uh, department store hace una semana. That means one week ago. Literally, they kind of say, like, it makes a week that this happened. So one week ago, and I paid, pagué, I paid much more. Oof. Like, and that's the same as in English. Kind of like, ugh. Aquí podemos ver algunos regalos que podemos comprar para nuestras familias o amigos. Aquí tenemos la cartera. La cartera is a wallet. 
La corbata is a tie. Los anteojos de sol, sunglasses. El llavero is a keychain. Keys are llaves. So keychain is kind of based on that word. If you want to write that one down for yourself, I think it's a useful one to know. Uh, oops. Keys are llaves. Los guantes are gloves. El perfume is perfume. That's a good little cognate for us there. And el bolso is a purse. Make sure you have these written down, please, before you move on to the next page with us. Aquí podemos ver una conversación más entre una chica y un chico, pero primero vamos a hablar de las palabras aquí. Tenemos las palabras de las joyas. Joyas are jewelry. So we have some different kinds here. Los arretes our earrings. El anillo is a ring that you would wear on your dedo, your finger. La pulsera is a bracelet. El collar is a necklace. Like kind of like a collar, you wear a collar around your neck, you wear a necklace around your neck. El reloj pulsera is a watch. And you guys know el reloj means clock. And pulsera, think about you, you take your pulse on your wrist. So really it's like a clock that you wear um, at that point on your wrist. And la cadena is a chain. You can notice here that the name of the store is Joyeria La Perla. That means um, like the pearl jewelry store. Okay, aquí podemos ver. Mi novio necesita un reloj pulsera. My boyfriend... Novio is boyfriend, so novia, as you guys could guess, is girlfriend. Okay, and the boy answers, ¿Por qué no lo compras? Why don't you buy it? Lo means it. And that's one of the main things that we're going to learn this chapter. Cuesta 30 dólares. It costs 30 dólares. No es muy caro. It's not very expensive. Caro means expensive. And remember that as an adjective that will have to agree with your noun. Here they're talking about un reloj pulsera. Pulsera ends in an A, but un reloj is masculine. That's the key word. So caro ends in an O. Y ella dice, she says, buena idea. Vamos a entrar. Good idea. We're going to enter. Now remember, your goal in watching this video was to talk about things that you bought in the past. So I want you to go ahead and copy down this sentence structure, and you're going to fill this out as your last thing here. Compré means I bought. So you're going to put a thing here, something that you bought. You can use any of the vocabulary from this video if you want, or another word that you know. Okay? Y pagué blank dólares. And I paid blank dollars. So you're going to need to put down the number of how many dollars you paid. Thanks for listening. Please remember that if you have any questions, you should go ahead and write them at the bottom of your um, paper or document so that we can discuss it in class when we get back together. Gracias y buena suerte.